Um, I thought I would change it up a little bit and tell you something about a box that I do know a little bit about. And that box is champagne. But don't worry, I'm not a wanker. I work in PR. I don't have to pay for it. My lovely friend Becky sent me this lovely, lovely bottle of Lanson champagne. I'm going to open the box because apparently that's what I do now to get my kicks. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's go in. So again, quite a premium bougie experience. Um... What's inside? No surprises. It's champagne. Probably shouldn't be thumping it around, should I? So yep, here it is. It's a bottle. Looks like you'd expect it to look. Already covered in some kind of lipstick where I've unboxed it before, taking a photo of myself, looking like I'm drinking out of it and put it back in. Cause that's, again, that's the kind of gal I am. The thing is, if you open a bottle of champagne on your own on a Monday night, it's sad. Whereas if you open it, and the camera's here, there's a whole load of people that could be part of this, and um, it's a party. Ah, speaking of party, this is the bombardier. He's um, getting involved, stealing the show, as ever. Don't worry, he's quite used to this happening, so um, the pop won't frighten him. I'm more likely to be scared than he is. Taking out the cork now. See, you can tell I am quite scared of it. I'm like Jim from Friday Night Dinner with the dog. Haven't you? Haven't you? It's like, I love it so much, and it's my friends, but I'm quite frightened of it. Uh, it's all right though, because the cat's come to help me, attracted by the tinfoil. Hi, this is the captain. He's not, he's camera shy, he's camera shy. Here comes the, um, here comes the exciting bit. Ah, oh, that's a satisfying sound, isn't it? As I, as I predicted, cat's still here, completely unflinching. Now, the perfect serve for champagne, I can tell you a little, little secret about this. It matters what glass you have it in. So, um, I like, I like little coupes like this because they make me think I'm in Great Gatsby and like I'm some kind of 1920s flapper gal rather than a hipster living in Limehouse. This is my favorite glass. You'll probably also be familiar with the flutes. Oh, that was nearly a disaster. But what you're actually looking for, I don't have any in stock, which sucks because I'm going to tell you a fact that I can't even talk about myself. You want a tulip shaped glass. And the reason for that is when you pour the delicious, delicious champagne into a glass, you want as little surface as possible for the bubbles to escape. And also, apparently, because of the smell, the aroma is part of the experience. So what you ultimately want to create is like a tiny little nose bag of champagne for you to enjoy. So you get all the senses all the time. This isn't the optimum solution for it, but this is what we've got to work with. Now, for the sake of science, I thought I'd test the old flute against the coupe to see if I can taste the difference. Now, one of the reasons that the coupe is frowned upon is, like I said, all the bubbles escape, but um, pro tip on that, if you drink it really quickly, they don't have time to escape. Just get it down the hatch. And again, if you're at a party, a PR party, as I often am, and everybody's really fucking boring, very quick way to have a good time. Right, drink it from the coupe. Smells like champagne. Tastes like champagne. Great, okay. Oh, already had a little slug out of this one, haven't I? Apparently, um, something that you also need to do to give the aromas time to breathe is don't fill it right the way up to the top, even if you really want to, because you've got to leave some space for the smells to kind of percolate in there. Didn't know that. Googled it to check if I had any knowledge. Turned out I didn't. Now I do. So, right, this is the flute. Here we go. I'm not going to lie. I can't tell the difference. Apparently, the receptacle that you have it in, from a flavour and smell point of view, if you mean, makes no difference, but from feeling like a bougie fucker, coop all the way. Enjoy the rest of your week.